So this is the girl that I saw from the side of the road. I don't believe she's been on her back all that terribly long. It's getting to that time of year again, she's heavy in lamb. Um, seems to me that she's largely okay. So I'm trying the technique that people have talked to me about, which is sitting them on their backside and allowing their internals to adjust before flipping them on over. It's not something I've done before, but here, you know, I'm willing to learn. Um, as you can see, she's okay. She's got a glazed eye there. I would say there's been a magpie down trying to peck at that eye. She can't have been there that long. I've been away a few hours. I've come back, I've seen her from the roadside. Um, yeah, there's, oh no, that's just, that's marker spray. That's, even I'm thinking marker spray is blood now. So I'll flip her over and hopefully it'll be a lot more as usual. By the way, not blood, marker spray. Mm -hmm. That's really how it should go. You'll see her abdomen is a little bit distended. Um, you can hear her burping actually. That's the gas starting to dissipate that wasn't able to dissipate when she was on her back. Um, that's how it should go. Oh yeah, she's pretty gassy actually. She's pretty, pretty blown up there. And uh, yeah, we don't like seeing sheep on their back, but when they're on their back, you get them on their feet again as soon as possible. There's just, she needed a pee. There you go, folks. There's a slightly more successful one, but they both survived and they'll both continue on. Keep an eye out for sheep on their back.